This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Things you must do first, elevation markers. All right, let's pick up where we left off. So we'll just click on Open Projects 304. We'll open that up. Okay, we can do a Save As. And we'll just put this as 305 and then Begin. Save that. Then we'll do another Save As. And we'll call this one Complete, and then we'll work to complete this. So we're just talking about elevation markers, and later on we'll get more in-depth on all of the view tags and markers. These right here are elevation markers, and if I were to just use the measure tool, click on that, and measure between there and there, you can see that there's about 140, 150 feet between them. So that gives you an idea of your starting out space, but you're not limited to that by any means. I'm going to hit escape a couple times, just zoom out a little bit. You can window these and then use the Move tool, or just drag them. So window the whole thing, and drag. And then you can sort of reposition where your elevation markers are in relation to your zero. Now if I were to zoom into one of these elevation markers, let me explain them a little bit. They have a body, and they have an arrow. The body has a little dash in it, and it's basically waiting to be put onto a sheet as soon as this view, which is this corresponding view here, as soon as that's put onto a sheet, this number will fill out. Okay, and this little marker here, that is the arrow. So that's actually creating the elevation view. The reason why I point this out is you got to be a little careful because if I just click on the body and then move the body of the elevation marker, and then I click on that arrow again. Notice what happens. You see this? This is actually the line at which it's using to create the elevation. So sometimes what will happen is someone will move their elevation marker, but they don't move this line, and it may be sectioning the building when it should be looking at it in an elevation view. So just make sure when you move these, you just window them all. So window the whole thing, and then you can drag it, and it'll drag the arrow, the line and the body of the marker. Good, so that's it. So let's save what we've done. And there we go.